Hey folks, like I said last time, this devlog is going to be all about 3D modeling and animating. I learned a ton about Blender, but the bulk of my time was just trying to make things look good. Before starting each model, I made a photo bash of existing weapons meshed together or tweaked in some way. I want my weapons to be fairly grounded in reality, so I figured starting with existing weapons would be a step in the right direction. The first couple days I spent just trying to figure out how to make the shapes I wanted. I remade the SMG no less than four times as I learned different ways to manipulate the mesh. I also learned about UV unwrapping and texturing, and got each model set up with a basic paint job. From there I learned about inverse kinematics in Blender, and I gotta say it seems a million times simpler than in Unity. I took our generic sci-fi guy from Mixamo and chopped his arms off to use as the basis for our FPS animations, and got them rigged up with IK so everything would go smoothly. I then made a basic set of animations for each weapon. Nothing fancy, but enough to be usable in our project. It was a process, but once I understood each step, it was just a matter of doing it. My fastest from scratch start to finish model was the last rendition of the SMG, which took just under four hours to model, texture, rig, and animate. You'll see that whole process as a time lapse going on in the background right now. I'm still not 100% happy with it, but I'll have plenty of opportunity to come back and make it even better. From there, I don't have a ton to talk about until we start moving things over in Unity, so I hope you guys just enjoy the show. If you want to skip ahead, go to the timestamp on screen now.
You still with me? I just need to be sure you aren't dozing off. As you can see, I got the models and animations set up and started bringing in some audio too. I used these settings on export from Blender and these settings on import to Unity. Once getting the animation controller set up, I had to do only minor tweaking to the weapon script to properly trigger the animations. The only weapon that hasn't made it into Unity yet is the shotgun, and that's because I need to figure out how to single load bullets instead of doing a full magazine swap. The animations appear to work exactly as intended with the recoil system we made in the previous video too. However, I can tell that this system is going to be extremely limited by my own ability to animate. With the idle and walking animations overlaid on top of the existing weapon sway, it just doesn't feel very tight. As such, I think I'm going to revert back to the simple method of firing and have shots originate from the camera. I'll keep other parts of the system, but I think physically handling the weapon like this is going to limit me because I don't have the knowledge or team to properly maintain that going forward. This said, I still like the idea, and hopefully somebody else can make use of what I've learned. Also, for personal reasons, the next devlog is going to take a full month, so in two weeks you'll be getting a tutorial on how I made this system instead. The devlog, when it comes out, will be another major refactor of the systems we currently have just to clean things up. I'll also try to tie up any loose ends that have popped up over the past few videos and try to figure out how to set up things like footstep and weapon handling sounds. Once I get our current setup reworked, I think the next major goal will be getting AI working to properly turn this into a game. Procedural generation, while a cool topic, can be prototyped by handmade maps instead for the time being. For now though, I'm quite happy with my guns. They'll need to be redone when it comes time for an art overhaul, but even learning this much has greatly expanded what I'll be able to do... Wait, who are you? Uh, the new guy? Wait a minute. You can walk around and look at things at the same time. Yeah? What, you can't? Uh, I mean, of course I can. Well, either way, I'm still getting used to these new legs and spine. The doc said it'd be an easy adjustment, but I can't even sit down yet. Morning coffee's also a pain. I somehow spread a second pair of arms to hold things. Check it out. I wish my legs worked, because Jesus Christ, that is horrifying. <laughs>